able to take hold with from the, with the devil to eat the flesh of your people. To kidnap them, to rape them. These your dear Yes. Uh, good afternoon, the great barrister of our time. Sir Barrister if I age your four. We welcome you as we've been waiting patiently for this time. It is an honor to be with you today. You are welcome. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. Being a platform. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much. I understand that you guys are extremely busy. And I want to use this opportunity to say a very, very congratulations to your <coughs> investiture that took place today. Congratulations. And the, the whole Biafrans said I should tell you congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, before now, I've been uh, operating armless, uh, using line on God's grace, wisdom, and favor. But today, I was further fortified by my Lord, Bishop, by the and I uh, was given a sword. And this sword, um, is coming at this point in time is very very important uh, because uh, that sword I use it in dealing with the enemies of our people in any way they want it. So uh, I'm more fortified now than before. So I thank God for for His mercy and grace upon our lives. And uh, as I had earlier indicated, that this month is a month of, a month of uncommon victory. And when I say that, I mean it in every sense of it. Thank you for giving me a platform. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank, you, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for that wonderful introduction. We are going to be real quick, and uh, because I can understand how you smuggle this time in. And uh, the whole dear friends, we've been here over an hour waiting for you. And it is, it is quite a pleasure that you acknowledge this call. Thank you very much once again for joining Thank you, thank you so much. So, tell us how you feel about your, your crown today, joining the knighthood of St. Saint, Saint Christopher. Thank you so much, uh, my brother. Uh, I feel particularly overwhelmed by that honor and recognition. That, that, that should be the highest rank, uh, uh, rank uh, available to every committed uh, Anglican in the Anglican Communion. And uh, I thank my Lord Bishop for finding me worthy uh, of, of the elevative of that it is. Uh, I never actually thought I'll get there, but my mom said it's a merit. He called me out for it. So I owe him uh, the, all the gratitude, first of all, to, my, to God Almighty for making this possible. And uh, because if not because of God, I won't be alive today. So with the instruction, the God said I will be alive. And my Lord has always been consistent in praying for me. I'm praying for my indefatigable clients. And God said, client, Mazinam Dikano. He has been there praying for me. Each time we're going to court, he always remembers in prayers and all our negative prayers. So, my Lord, I don't know how to thank him for, for remembering us. I'm appreciating our work. Uh, because what I actually tell people it is not a function of somebody going to every morning uh, uh, morning mass early morning go to church and pray and, uh, and go go there worship and uh, sweep the church that that should be the dominant factor the fact the fact that how committed are you in the defending that christian christian law how committed are you in defending the church how committed are you in defending humanity some people will have the opportunity and they will better prefer to try to teach. They who said no, that we are on a divine mission. And I'm 
my colleague talks today that people are appreciating that effort. And each time I find myself in a situation so like this, I give thanks to God because it satisfies me the more. Uh, so to live a, to live a clean life is not an easy something. To be committed to something you believe in is not an easy something. Uh, but I, I, I have uh, as a really element term and also cost element term, but I should, shall be light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, victory shall be ours. No matter the time it takes in all ramifications, it shall be ours. And so thank you. I feel like that I'm not very happy. Uh, you cannot believe that I was just coming here yesterday for this pro for this program. And by yes, yes. uh, this time tomorrow yesterday, I was I was still struggling to get to the venue where I, where the answer was going on. So today here I am. So it's something we need to appreciate God for. It's something we need to thank my fans only to make it worldwide because they made it possible. Their prayers have been so impactful. I must confess that to you. If not for their prayers and for standing firm behind me, I will not get thus far. And I, I can answer, I can assure them that I can never disappoint them, no matter what. No matter the level of destruction, uh, I can disappoint them. You can see a number of destructions going on of late, uh, because I know they are all going on because we are pushing victory. And I am the last person that can be distracted. I can assure of that. I'm too big for distracted, no matter where it's coming from. So I urge all my followers, my fans, lovers of freedom, and all the who are who are generally disposed to ensure that justice is done, to remain focused, remain on checking in their belief in the in the project that we will get to it, we we'll get to the destruction in no distant time. Uh, we are working tirelessly day and night to ensure that the God sent client in the numbers land become is freed as good as possible. And that can assure you that God has blessed that bless that prayers. And the God will bless the ones of the hands. God will bless our effort and aspiration towards actualizing this common belief. It will happen soon. I may not be able to tell us about this, but it will happen soon. I come as a shock and surprise to those who are there causing one kind of confusion or the other. Thank you so much for having me, my brother. A human place. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And before you go, I have some few questions that has been bothering everybody. So I just want to make it quick so that you join your program as it, it is on. So, as the next court is fast um, approaching, please will you tell us how you are feeling about it and how prepared are you? What are you ex are your expectations and what will IPOB family be expecting from you guys? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, in a very short form, what I can tell you at this point in time is that we have been protected in many occasions and demonstrated and proven right that the federal government has no case against our client Mazin and uh, So because uh, they are into a situation they don't know how to come out from. So we have nothing short of victory coming up on the 16th of February. We have tackled the charge, they fired their counter and responded. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they are still um, confused. I'm not going to the of the Air Force or the military to otherwise of what they find. But what I can assure you is that they have nothing before the court. Uh, whatever they have before the court is dead on arrival. There is no charge before the court and they cannot proceed on, in a vacuum. So we are not expecting anything less than victory. That I can assure you. I'm telling you this authoritatively. I don't have time to go into Facebook practice of law, but whatever I say, words, listen to it. Before now, I used to expand shirts, I used to go into the dance. But in time, when I discovered that even enemies within are, part, are people who are assisting, adding the criminals outside the, outside the system to distract us, that was when I decided not to make certain, certain strategies, strategy public. So that you can go to bank with it. But they have no case against him and they can. 
and they cannot succeed. And I'm sure you will reasonably that victory is ours. Take it from me and go to bank with it today. Of course, thank you very much for that. I believe you. And there is some an, um, another question that I have here for you. We are following your distractors and uh, those and their plans to disorganize you. What will you say to them? I know you have touched on that, but specifically, what will you say to those distractors? You see, well, I, I wanted not to say this, but let me just say this. Um, when criminals are being hired, when civil force force staff are being hired, when people who have no names are being hired, when people who are facing more than 20 cases in court today, I can say that to you, tentatively are being hired, that will show you that our distractors have no strategy. Again, that they've run out of strategy. And I'm, I should be the last person to be distracted in that regard. I know where I, know where I am. I know what I'm doing, and uh, of course, I would think that if a GF4 is not him, I'll get to know where I am today. That's impossible. And I say, for somebody to engage in blackmail, engage in defamation, engage in all sorts of foul, foul, fake, fake news, to show you the level, you know they've gotten to. And I'm not bothered at all, I'm not prepared at all. Uh, I've told my client at some point in, that I told him, I don't want us to be discussing situations like this. I want to discuss about our uh, matters in court and something you should adopt it. Uh, because these are mere distractions and I handled them. I handled them. And, uh, uh, I handled them. Um, uh, I will handle them effectively. Uh, I will have no basis. I have no, no, I have no, I have not entertained any form of basis for those who decide to throw the part of uh, blackmail. Because I know I have a strong God that works for me. Whenever I pray to that God, it works. Uh, but I'm not put out. You see, one thing about life is that except when you have skeleton in your cupboard, then you'll be bothered about certain things some people are saying about you. But once you know your path, you know your way, then why should I bother? I shouldn't bother. And what if you see those who are trying to distract? They are not on their own. People who are within are trying to use them as their last card. And they play the card, it didn't work out for them. That card has been played, it didn't work out, and that is the end. They've run out, they've now run out of out of options available to them. Uh, because those guys are hell-bent on doing things which is unrealistic, which is unnatural. For one thing, the fact that I'm not the one that appointed myself in this war. I am divinely ordained by God to be by the side of my client in this struggle. And no human being, no mother, will say no to that. And my client appreciate that fact that I am not the one that called myself. It's God that called me and said I should come and stand by him. And be there to be offering regular advice to him, regular assistance and regular services to him. Those who are working now to ensure that they distract me, they didn't come in time. They are fools. And so check the, check the records. Go and check the records. Check, go to Scopo, the name of the person who, are, who is writing. Yeah, just go and just give you an assignment. Do you just go put that name. Go to Google, go put that name. You will see things that are unthinkable. You will see things that are unprintable. You will see that things that are abominable. You see somebody who has been convicted. Who is talking? So there are things you don't give attention to. And when you bring yourself, condescend to that level it is, then that means they're cutting you. So I can't be pushed to condescend to that level they are. And so uh, as far as I'm concerned, what you're saying is not in existence. I can take, I can, I can take that to the back. But I will go further than this to make sure that I punish him because I'm going to deal with him in a manner legally. That you understand that he's talked to somebody who is well equipped and well sophisticated than him. In the coming days, he will get my process from court. But I want to drag him for him to understand that he's, he's finished. In all ramifications of it, he finished, and I'll take certain steps to ensure that I correct that, that, that wrong impression. But if I allow him to go stop me, you will see the Galevante doing that part. So, and the me, I'm not the kind of person you, 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 you do that kind of thing to. All right? And I'll keep quiet. And that's why I'm not going to, I'm not going to challenge you publicly. I have a work dealing with him. That situation. So that's the point. So I'm not distracted, my brother. We are focused. We are resolute. We are unshaken in our strategy. And my brother is there, you see what happened in court. 
Of course, you, I'll hear my, my mentor, uh, the respected and most distinguished advocate of Nigeria, Michael Zekome, who is with me. We are going to come to my name in court on Wednesday, as usual. You're celebrating our victory. So I can assure you that this one is the month of a common victory. Go and write it somewhere. You sit up. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much. And then <laughs> there's the second to the last question that I have for you. Thank you very much for that, you know. Wonderful explanation. The second to the last question I have for you. Do you have anything to advise those who are fighting the DOS and the leadership of IPOB? Well, um, if you are following my, if you are following my, my updates, I've severally admonished in line with the instruction from my client. And what I can tell you is that I understand that many people don't understand that any message coming out from me is coming out from Namikana. I want to say it today. If, you, if I write any word, I'm saying this because I know that tomorrow somebody will record what I'm saying now and keep it for him to see. Any message coming out from him, from me, from this man, this fighting up there, it's coming out from him. Don't add, don't subtract. I don't even subtract. So I encourage you to pay attention to my updates. I am the, uh, I'm not the kind of most trusted. Go and write it down. I am his most trusted. Most trusted. Note it for me. Okay. I'm saying it publicly now. I am his most trusted. Everybody who goes to me know about that. I am his most trusted. So anything coming out from my, my mouth, I object or write in my update. It's his words. I don't need to add to that. And if you're following my update, he's saying nothing but people which you align with destruction, people which you respect the US. And nothing more, that's all. So anybody who is doing anything, turn them out to that zone store. I settled. So any word coming out from me is coming out from him. It's his words. Take it from me. Don't listen to people who are confused. Many people are confused who are benefiting from what they or the other they are doing to circumvent or probably to, to, to achieve their. They are their selfish interests, right? To actually address it. That's not the point. The point that any word coming out from me is coming out from you. That's why I read it right. Whatever you say, I visit him and write out there. Take it from me. Who made that sink? I take it that way. That's it. So thank you so much. Okay. Um. Before I go to the last question, the last question. People say that the the message that you are writing, some of them see it as a very big grammar and it's written in metaphor that they are not able to understand it. So I don't know if there is any way you will be able to make that message in a simple English, in a simple way that our people will be able to understand because they are not able to decode your metaphor. My, my brother, sorry about this. Um, I've taken time to listen to the complaints about things I do. You know what? My problem is that whenever I, whenever I get um, probably, I find myself in a certain mood. I'll write, I'll write things that when you read it, you feel you have to get, uh, you have to get close to your ambition to understand things I do. But you can understand that the one I object I did about few days ago, I have to come down to level of my um, level of emotion again. Few of them who may not understand, and I, I have to. I can assure them going forward, I'll flow from that. That was that pattern for him to understand because uh, uh, English is not a mother language, it is a foreign language. So I have to demystify it in a manner they will understand sentence to sentence what I mean. And uh, so, what I'm saying that now the camera is not playing with destruction. He said, Nobody should make any mistake about it. That destruction remains intact, and anybody who's working against destruction is offending him. That's all. That's settled. That's all. So that means DOS we should listen to. Sure. Sure. Thank you very much. The last question is what is your general advice for the followers of our leader Mazen Namdekano? Uh, my advice to them is that in time like this, you see what I told uh, my uh, my client Mazen Namdekano at some point, we are having a very good chat. We are having chat. Usually when I have a specific uh, meeting with him, we are alone. It's good, and unfortunately, it's happened. But it's good for some kind of thing to happen for somebody to understand those who are close to him, and somebody to understand those who are truly disposed, who are, are true disciples, who are, are true followers. So, I want to tell people to understand that this is the time now he can do be there. He needed people now, he needed them now, he needed their prayers, he needed their solidarity. 
He will be a peaceful conduct. He will be a respect for him, for his decisions. He will be a respect for his structure. So don't be confused. Don't make no mistake about it. So don't believe any form of long narratives over there. Believe in what he says. Believe in things I tell you people. Believe in the messages he pass across. He will come out soon. I bet I can bet my life for that. Nam is coming out soon. And he'll come out like a surprise. I said nobody will be carried along as the rain will be coming out again. But I can assure you that he will come out like you. I'm like, it will be a surprise to everybody. It will be a shock. So take it from me at this moment in time. So, because by the time you come out, those who think they will not come out will be shocked. Those who are working are working against his interests. Those who are fighting his interests. Those who think they can they can obtain what he has set up. He'll be shocked. He will come out. Because I can assure you he has not committed any offense to law. A lot of things are going on. He will come out soon. Uh -huh. So, my especially when they have no case against him in court. So, take it from me. I'm saying this today. I can see me in my attire. My attire as a, as, as a knight of St. Christopher. The highest ranking ranks in African communion today. So, talking to you. I'm not talking to I'm, I'm not saying this from a bar. I'm saying from my room. Talking to you from what I know is so terrible. What will happen? So, my advice to them is to remain focused. Remain on the tag. Remain decisive, remain, remain peaceful, remain on the way, be, be, don't be, don't, don't, don't be distracted, remain on the Bible in their resolution. So, because at this point in time, you see a lot of things playing out, playing, playing out, a lot of narratives going on, going on, going on. And if you're not careful, you'll be taken up, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be So, they should not be shaky, they should not be allowed, they should not allow anybody to take them off track at this point in time. Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, uh, and it's a wonderful opportunity being with you at this point in time. Uh, I commend you. I rarely appear in this kind of program, but uh, of course, you know how we get here. So I thank God for being with you today. Uh, this is a uh, special day for me. So, um, for getting set for Wednesday, and you see me in court, and you see Namdi Khan in court, and something good will happen on Wednesday. Thank you so much, and I'm blessed. Bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It is an honor for you know to have you acknowledge this call. Very, very thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. More oil to your elbow. May you walk the cabra keep strengthening you with wisdom, knowledge, guidance, and understanding. And we will give you strength to overcome all these shenanigans. And at the end. We are going to emerge victoriously. Thank Amen. you very much once again. Amen. Amen. Bless. Appreciate it. Thank you. So that is our able barrister, barrister Ifani Ejofosa, because today he joined the night of Saint Christopher. So as you may have heard it, that Oyandu want you to keep listening to the DOS. As you may have seen, the reason why I bring, I brought up some part of the videos of what has been going on in IPOB. All this shenanigans going on in IPOB. The reason why I start playing them one after another. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. It is like, it is like I pile them up. I wanted to be playing them without talking because some of you, when I talk, maybe my voice is the reason why you cannot pay attention or understand. That was the reason why I started playing them. And at the end of the day, I am going to, you know, finish playing all those voices, but you have heard it from our Lego Council, who hear from Mazen Namdekano directly. He does not have a lot of time we would have enjoyed his you know reception but he does not have a, a lot of time as you can see he is in a reception at home where he is you know <clears throat> celebrating his knighthood of saint christopher so we say once again congratulations to our great honorable barrister saifani ejofo and it is an honor being in your reception today and the full viewers all over the world the reason why i try to make this happen 
is for you to understand that what we do, we are whiter than white, we are whiter than snow. We have not derailed. We follow the path of the truth and we will continue to follow the path. And we will continue to follow the path of the truth until thy kingdom come. Because the truth is the only thing that is going to make us free. Especially in this point in time, in this time of great tribulations. It is only the truth, discipline, that is going to set us free. As you have heard it, Mazen Namdekano strongly believe in his structure, he left behind the DOS and everything that you hear from DOS, you hear it from Mazen Namdekano. Everything you hear from Barrister Jofo, you hear it from Mazen Namdekano. I can attest to that because I've been following them. I told you I sent someone to meet Mazen Namdekano. So that is the reason why we got to this extent. And all these questions that we asked today was actually approved by Mazen Namdekano before, because we send it through to him before we present it to you. Mazen Namdekano approved those questions that we threw up to our barrister and the Saifaye Jofo. So, as you have heard it, you make sure if you have derailed because of manipulations of the enemy. You make sure if you have derailed because of the lies of the enemy. You make sure if you have derailed from any activities of the enemy. It is high time you come clean and make sure that you come to the side of the truth. We are not here with sentiment today. We are not here to say anything else today. But we are, I am here to make it known to you that Mazen Namdekano strongly believe in the DOS, the structure he left behind. None else. Every other person that is parading themselves to be anything, they are nothing but a distraction to this struggle. We value discipline more than anything in this planet. We value discipline. And if you know that you value discipline and you love Mazen Namdekano, it is high time you make a comeback. It is high time you make a comeback and you go to the root of the truth. The enemy can never destroy us. Not even in a trillion years, as Mazen Namdekano always say. Not in a trillion years that the enemy will be able to come in or destroy the activities or the, structured, the structure of IPOB. Because it is rooted in the wisdom of Chukwo Kikabiyama. It is rooted in the divine mercy of Chukwo Kikabiyama. It is rooted by the grace of Kwoki Kabiyama. Therefore, there is nothing any man born of a woman is going to be able to do to destroy it. They will only try, but they will never succeed. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay informed. Bye-bye.